Talking about plugs, but really the middle Nigga, you the middle man. I come from the kitchen, Dude, but I'm from my Y'all can't do that. I'm fucked up. These chances I'm taking ain't worth it, but I got to get it, man. My love to the hood. Thanks for making me savvy. Thanks to my mama and daddy for thanking me like a little gay thing. Thank me and bang when I was too young to have it. Yeah, I was too young to have it. Five bricks, I was too young to manage. Dice game, I was so dumb. And Gavin Fizz came, watching my partner to vanish. Niggas, small city, big guns. These bitches are fucking for any big hard. Any talking about plugs are really the middle. Y'all be wet through the hallway, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Live from 85. We back at it. The realest nigga on YouTube. Y'all know what it is. Y'all make sure y'all hit that cash app and that PayPal. And if you're not sub to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, my nigga. It's free. Don't cost you nothing. You feel me? All right, man. We're going to get right to it, man. I've been hearing everybody talk about surviving Cardi B, right? So we're going to be talking about Cardi B. And of course, everybody know who Cardi B is, but if you don't know, I'll go ahead and show you this picture right quick to let you know who she is. Alright, that's Cardi Six ass. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, man. Everybody know Cardi, she pretty, she six and all that shit, right? Well, we're gonna get right down to the the nit and grit of the situation, you feel me? Now everybody on Cardi B ass right now, you know, cause of what's been said about what, what she said, you know, it came, it came out of her own mouth, you know, she's saying that she used to drug men and all this, and I'm gonna let y'all hear all that here in a minute, cause I got, I got the audio, you feel me, but before I do, I'm gonna give you my feelings on it, what I think about it, and my thing is, you feel me, if it was a man, you know, that'd be all over, all over, man, you know, Bill Cosby in jail right now, oh shit, that they were saying he did over 30 years ago, you feel me, and I'm not wishing jail on Cardi. That, by no means, I'm not wishing jail on you, feel me? Because that ain't what I'm saying. But I don't like the I don't like how folk be biased toward me. And it's like it's like when you when you're a good daddy. It's like when you're a good daddy, right? And then you have a woman that's that just takes advantage of you. You know, don't give a fuck, and and you just be down in the dumps so on child support and everything. But then they get a sorry nigga and they'll treat them like gold. You feel me? The same way, like, when it comes to the judicial system, when it comes to men and women. Men are held at a different standard than women. Now, I don't understand it. You know, we all bleed. We all the same, you feel me? I know that we got different parts down there, and one of us got testosterone, and the other doesn't, you feel me? But an action is an action, you feel me? And I'm, like I said, I'm not saying she should go to jail or no shit like that. But I remember, um, who was that, um, who was that, uh, uh Ludacris? Back in the gap, I don't know if too many of y'all remember this. You know, I'm an older dude. Back in the gap, Ludacris signed a deal with Pepsi, right? And him and, uh, I think Bill O'Reilly, they got into it or whatever, right? And Pepsi pulled him. Same thing with, uh, with, uh, damn, who was that, uh, Lil Wayne. The Emmett Till line in that song got him pulled from Pepsi. I want to say Cardi B still with Pepsi, too, but you know, you know how that go. You know, I had, I, I've seen, I've seen folks post, you know, I've seen folks post it up, and I thought the same shit, I'm like, damn, that is crazy, you feel me, and then I just had to sit down and, you know, go, look through what's going on with Bill Cosby case, R. Kelly case, and then I'm looking at what Cardi's saying, right, but see, this what, this the only thing about it, you don't got too many people coming out being like, well, Cardi raped me, but you do have one dude, though, you got one dude that's coming out trying to tell that little story about Cardi, Cardi sitting him up or whatever, right, so, Man, it, it really ain't no telling how that might play out, you feel me? Because, you know, the the state can, like, like say you get you go to jail, right? You get out. The state can let your case go. I mean, not the state. I mean, shit. The, uh, the city or whatever can let your case go, but then, you know, the state will fuck around and pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it might, you know, it might turn bad for you. You never know, man, but... Then again, you know, she do got money and she got the bag behind her, so it can't go too bad, you feel me? Because when you got the money behind you, you know, you can get out of anything. If you don't believe me, add Jesse Smollett. Y'all see how he got out all that shit that he was into, right? And then when he did a press conference. And anyway, I'm all off the subject. But anyway, in Cardi instance, though, I don't see how. First off, I don't even know why she made a video to say that. <laughs> Second off, I just. I wonder who brought the video up, you know, now, and they say it's three years old, but they brought it up now, you feel me, so I wonder where it came from, because, believe it or not, man, these celebrities nowadays, bro, 
they'll bring some shit up on they self. For real, just to keep their name out there. Good or bad, because any publicity to them is good publicity, you feel me? And that's crazy as hell, man. Ain't no way you, I would bring some shit up like that on camera to say I have done some shit in the past. Knowing that, what, three years ago she was on Love and Hip Hop, wasn't she? I mean, it ain't like she wasn't in the, in the spotlight or whatever. I mean, she she was known, wasn't she? Or am I going too too far, too far ahead of myself? When did Cardi get on? Was it last year or the year before? I can't really remember, so I'm not going to say nothing about that because I can't really remember. But either way, being that she got a name now, man, ain't no telling what they might try to put that girl through, man. For real. <laughs> being that, you know, she caught it. They know she got the money. She with Offset. She getting bad, loving hip-hop money and everything. Then you got people just throwing a lot of hate toward her, you know, talking about. You know, it's, it's a lot of people throwing hate toward her, man. I ain't just going to say no blogger's name or nothing, but, you know, she got, she got, um, she got a lawsuit against a blogger, you feel me, <laughs> that put up some shit saying something about it, you know, so I ain't going to stunt to y'all. I'm going to watch what I say about it, but I am going to keep it real, though, you feel me, and with that being said, man, I don't, I don't wish no jail time on I want her to keep doing her thing, man, but. I know she prides herself on speaking the truth. You know, she always say she real, but I'm going to tell you, man, everything ain't meant to be said. I don't give a damn how real you are. Everything not meant to be said and everything is not meant to be known. You feel me? I don't care how, how much publicity you want or if you want to get your name out, if you're going to drop a CD or whatever. Everything is not meant to be known, my nigga. Real shit. And some people figured it out, man, but they figured it out later than sooner. You feel me? I figured that out a long time ago. And I think Cardi know that too, man. But like I say, you know, when you famous, man, they play by different rules. I don't I don't know what famous people be on nowadays, man. I really don't, bro. I don't know what they be thinking about, man. Because, like I said, you couldn't have paid me to get on the camera and say I drugged some motherfuckers and got them robbed and all this shit. No. Never. I'm not. No. I ain't did nothing like that. No. Who told you that? Uh-uh. Be what? Me? No. I ain't do that. No. You got a video of it? No, that ain't me. I pull an R. Kill on you? That ain't me. And <laughs> that ain't me. No. Can't be me. But, like I say, should get out of all that, man. It'll be what, you know, it is what it is, man. But before I get off this video, though, right? Like I said, I'm finna leave y'all with the audio. So if y'all still watching this video right now, you know, don't go nowhere. I'm finna play that audio for you. And. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about the situation. Like, real shit, man. Do y'all think that she in the wrong? Do y'all think that she needs to apologize? Or do y'all, like, do y'all think that she put the video out herself? I mean, where did that video come from? I really want to know. Like, where did that video come from? She just be popping up on YouTube and shit just out the blue. Ain't it crazy how, how a rapper or somebody can have something, they can have a project in the drop. Or something going on, and then all of a sudden, a video comes out about them. Or they got beef with somebody. Or um, this person said something to them years ago, and now they want to say something about it. You know, man, I just don't know about the, I just don't know about the industry people, man. I just don't, man. And, and then again, with Cardi, man, you know, a lot of people be hating on Cardi, too, man. Like, I be seeing little videos of folks be saying, man, Cardi don't smell good. Cardi this, Cardi that. Cardi got this, Cardi got that, man. I don't know nothing about that, you know, that's allegedly, all I know is she make good music, she fine than a motherfucker, and I love that tattoo on her leg, and hell, <laughs> keep doing your thing, man, there ain't no hate coming down this way, man, people in the sip, they fuck with you, real shit, so with all that being said, man, be well through the hallway, y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit, I'm finna leave y'all with this audio, and if you're not sub to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to it, me and hold up for your shit, do what you're supposed to do, not what you want to do. I always stand on all 10 and you're going to win. Real shit, man. I just found that out, bro. I had some good news come to me today, and I'm going to keep it to myself for right now, but I will let y'all in on it pretty soon. But until then, man, be well through the hallway. Y'all check out this audio. Hit the comments down below and let me know what y'all think about this whole little, little thing going on with Cardi B, and I'm going to hit y'all with another one. Hopefully, I give y'all the interview that I've, been, that I've been talking about for the longest, man. I've been trying to get this shit set up for the longest, but I'm going to hit y'all with the interview pretty soon. But till then, man, be wide through the hallway. I'm out.